Welcome to this video. In this video, I want to talk about the very, very important ABAP statement authority check. With the ABAP statement authority check, you basically check the authorization, so authorization objects for a specific SAP user and just if uh, the ABAP statement authority check is being used within the ABAP program then you can check the authorization so therefore you really have to be aware of checking authorizations and therefore I would like to explain you this ABAP statement more closely within this video. Here right now we can see what is kind of like the syntax for the authorize, authority check statement. Uh, we will see in a couple of seconds also an example, but here in general the syntax. Um, if you would like to use it, first of all, you have to use the statement authority minus check. Then you have to use object and after object you specify as a literal, so as a string, um, the authorization object. Within the transaction code SU21 you can also analyze and look more closely the authorization object but within here you have to specify it. Then that is optional so you don't need to enter or to type in the SAP user but you can if you're using the addition for user and then once again as a literal so as a kind of like string the SAP user. Um, we will see also if uh, you're entering an SAP user not existing in the SAP system then you're getting an error um, return code but uh, therefore you can make sure that you're just checking the authorizations for one specific SAP user. So yeah maybe there's some use cases uh, you would like to check for a specific user uh, can be. Then you have you are um, entering the authorization field with a value and here you have to make sure that at maximum you can enter 10 authorization fields with the value um, but at least you have to enter one authorization field with the value and therefore you have to enter the word ID then you have to enter the authorization field and then you can uh, enter uh, the word field and uh, the corresponding uh, value of this field and then um, or you can use instead of uh, using a Value, you, you can just use a dummy so you ignore this authorization field. So if we open up an ABAP program here you can see as an example what is happening. As mentioned first of all you have to use authority minus check then object and within here you are using uh, the authorization object. With double click with the forward navigation you're entering in the SU21 and you can analyze the authorization object more closely. And then that is optional. You can use the addition for user with an iteral. So for example, this one, then you're checking um, this authorization just for this SAP user. So not needed right now. And here I have entered five authorization fields. So dev class, object type, object name, P group, and the activity. And I set uh, three times a value. So I would like to check an authorization field for a specific value. And in this case, I would like to check for a uh, dev class. So for the package dollar TMP. So my temporary package object type is in this case a program so the programs in this package object name and p group are ignored in this case and activity 0 to to make changes so basically what um, does this authority check do it checks if uh, the executor so the uh, person who executes this program has authorizations to make changes within uh, programs within this package and basically if um, we will also see in a couple of seconds um, you have the return code zero so it 
goes into here you basically yeah, just print the message success but if you don't have authorization or something went into an error then this message will be shown so then activate it hit f8 to execute it and my user has authorization to make changes within this package once again double click and see the activity here you can see change 02 then let's explain the system fields more closely um so you can check the system fields the return code of the statement authority minus check with the system field uh, s y minus s u b r c so c minus sub at c and within here you have five or basically four different values so in most cases when the authority check is successfully successful so it went successfully then it returns zero so the authorization authorization check is successful or basically the check is not performed at all if uh, it returns four then the authorization check was not successful so basically the user uh, has not the authorization or has not a specific role with the needed authorization so with the author authorization fields and values uh, so then uh, it will be returned 4 and when it will return 12 then um, an authorization object was not found in the user master record and um, a 24 is uh, obsolete um, you should no longer use it and if you're using the addition for user and you get the return code 40 then you have yeah, basically entered an SAP user that doesn't exist in the SAP system so an invalid user ID. Now I would like to show you a little trick how you can easily use authority check. So first of all what you also can do is you type in authority check then the top key and then basically will be completed and you can then uh, continue writing but basically i kind of like within here you have to type in manually the needed statement and there is a little trick that yeah, helps you to use the authorization check statement and to do this here basically uh, it is uh, really easy so you have to basically click on the pattern button here in the toolbar and then you have to select uh, the option authority check and within here you have to type in the authorization object that you would like to use uh, during the authorization check so in our case once again s underscore develop um, if you don't know the authorization check just yeah call the su21 or here use the for help or a line regarding your sap basis authorization team what you should use and then you can uh, hit the enter key or click on continue and then basically it will be automatically completed and i think that it's really useful because you have the statement you have also a condition what should happen uh, when you don't have authorization or when something went wrong and now you can just fill in those uh, information so the values for the authorization fields and then you are good to go instead of using the statement authority minus check you can also call a function module um, to check an authorization object and to use this once again i call the pattern and within here you have to type in authority underscore check not authority minus check that's the statement you have to enter authority underscore check and then continue and then within here you can uh, basically enter uh, the sap username of course within here the authority object and then if you want to um, authority field with the uh, with the corresponding value or the needed value and then basically yeah you can also react on the different uh, exceptions return codes and yeah this is also kind of like useful the function 
module authority check. If you would like to get to know more about this, then you can call the authority check uh, within the SE37, so within the function builder, and then yeah, basically you can analyze uh, more closely the input parameters. Um, we don't have any here, but the exceptions, um, yeah. So uh, it's kind of like funny that uh, it raising a exception if the user is authorized, but by the way, um, and yeah, there you can analyze it more closely. Now I would like to highlight the ABAP class seal underscore auth underscore objects underscore two SQL. Within this class, you are able to uh, create SQL statements. So dynamic SQL statements with where conditions to uh, replace authority checks in select loops, for example. So within here, you can also use this ABAP class. And now if you would like to get to know more about the authority check statement, then you can just enter ABAP help within the OK code field and then you can enter authority minus check, execute the search, that's totally fine. And then uh, check within the documentation uh, for the ABAP statement. Um, what is once again the syntax, uh, what is this authorization uh, or this authority check statement about, some kind of hints, uh, examples once again, and so on. So within here, um, you can read it through afterwards and get more information about the authority check. And yeah, if you have any questions left, please put them in the comment check section and please do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and see you in the next video.